Hi, I'm Michelle Fox from Michelle Fox Beauty and Michelle Fox Online, and I am here to talk to you today about why you absolutely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, need a YouTube channel for your small business starting today. You are going to be amazed at these five reasons. I'm sure there are several that you were, are totally unaware of. They have changed my life, and stick with me till the end because then I'm going to tell you uh, how you you can very quickly and easily create that channel because I already know what you're thinking. You're intimidated. You're freaked out. It's too much. Nope. I'm going to tell you why you need it and how to get it. So don't go anywhere. All right. So like I said, I'm Michelle Fox and I have been in direct sales for over 22 years and I have done that largely in person. Uh, I did have a website starting, oh, I don't know, probably 10 years ago, but I didn't really start working um, online in a significant way, I would say, until about 2018. And that started out on Facebook Live. Over time, I thought about doing YouTube. But if you are anything like me, the difference between YouTube and Facebook is huge. Because when you talk to people on Facebook, it's people typically that are choosing to follow you or they're in a group that you created. And so it's a friendly audience. But when I thought about YouTube, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be out there for the whole world to see. And they're going to be hecklers and they're going to be people saying, who do you think you are? You don't know anything. <laughs> and once in a blue moon, that does happen. I mean, there's no lying. You got to get a thick skin. But it's pretty rare, actually, because the people that gravitate toward you are the people that want to hear what you have to say. They are looking for the value that you're providing for them. So uh, that is something, it's a combination of facing your fear and doing it anyway, you know, recognizing your fear and doing it anyway, but also uh, realizing as you do it, that it's really not as big and bad as you thought it was going to be. So that's not what this video is about. I'm going to explain why you want to have YouTube for your business so that those little tiny fears, those little things in the back of your head that have prevented you in the past are going to seem so minuscule compared to the advantages of having a YouTube channel that you will just be like, oh, heck yes, I am moving forward with this. Okay, so let's get into it. So five reasons why you, whether you are in direct sales uh, Etsy sales, you have an arts crafts business, you have uh, digital files that you sell online, you have a small local business that you want to promote. Even if you have a blog that, you know, or you're thinking about creating a blog, or you just have an idea, or you just want to have some kind of online presence, whatever your reason, this is how YouTube can help. Okay. So before I start, wrap your head around this. YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google. Let's pause and reflect. Think how often you Google something, okay? So people not only use Google to get information, they use YouTube. So the second most sought out resource for information is YouTube. That means that your potential audience is enormous. So when you understand what you want to provide, the information that you want to provide, what your channel is going to be about, and you know how to package it, you know how to title it and the keywords to use and all that, people are going to find you like crazy because they are searching for you. Okay. I mean, just that in itself is like so exciting. Okay. So the very first reason you want to start a YouTube channel is to establish an online presence. 
you can be known worldwide. Yeah, you can. Okay. Right now you may have a, a presence. You may have an influence in a circle of people, probably local, maybe beyond that because you moved or you've got people from your hometown where you grew up. Uh, but when you go online, there there are no limits. So you are going to start to establish followers and subscribers and people that just like you, the person that like what you have to offer and the way that you talk and the way that you present things, you're going to have people following you on social media, specifically YouTube, all over the world. All right. And if you are like, well, what difference does that make? You will get this as we go on. Okay. I, I know that I, for a long time, never really gave that any thought. Okay. It's like I've got my friends and my family, my local peeps, that, and they all support my direct sales business, and I'm fine. But when I compared that little teeny weeny group of people to the people on the whole planet, Mind blown, okay? Have you ever had the thought or the question, like, are there enough people really to support my business plus everybody else that does what I do? We've all thought that. We've all panicked about that or stressed about that. Well, when, you're, when your market is not just your local people or it's not just the people that you personally know right this minute, but it opens up to the entire world, that alleviates that that problem. Okay. Trust me, there are a lot of people out there and they have a variety of interests and they have a variety of things that draw them. And you have something that is unique that someone else who sells or does the exact same thing, they are going to have their audience and you're going to have your audience and everybody's going to be just fine. <laughs> When you understand the online market, the online opportunities, you no longer uh, spend a lot of time worrying about, is are there enough people for me to sell to? That I haven't thought about that, and I can't even tell you how long, all right? There are plenty of people for us to sell to, trust me. Your online presence can start with YouTube and it will branch out from there. But this is a great place to launch yourself as an online entity because, like I said, it's the second largest search engine next to Google. And Google owns YouTube, so they work very well together, all right? The second reason why you want to have a YouTube channel is that people want to do business with those that they know like, and trust. And part of that equation is allowing them to get to know the real you, to see your expressions, to hear how you talk, to see your environment, and to provide value to them whether or not you're actually getting something in return. So in other words, if I am selling cosmetics and I teach you how to apply your eye makeup and you really like the way that I teach, you like my personality, you enjoy spending time with me, so to speak, I'm not asking for a sale, but over time, you may be more inclined to want to buy eye makeup from me because we are establishing a relationship. All right. So the number two reason that you want to have a YouTube channel is because it gives you a place an opportunity to provide value for your audience. It gives you a platform where you can begin that know, like, and trust factor, where you can begin establishing that with a huge audience, where people from all over will start commenting and sending you messages like, hey, I really got a lot out of that. Thanks so much for that. I, I thought the same thing, but I, now that I hear it from you, I feel really validated. Oh my gosh, I learned so much from that video. Thank you. I'm telling you what, when you are there and you're providing something for people and you're not then giving a pitch, you're not then saying, and buy my stuff, people will, like I say, the people that are meant to be your, your people, the people that just are 
you know what I'm talking about? Like we all have kind of our own vibe. And so we attract certain, like attracts like, okay? So we're going to attract certain kinds of people and everyone is going to have a different audience ever so slightly. We might in general, you know, like I might be appealing to women over 50 and there might be a whole lot of other people that appeal to women over 50, but I have my own way. I have my own sass. I have my own way of being super honest and really getting down to the nitty gritty and being, you know, very simple and, and that kind of thing. That's my thing. So I find my audience and YouTube has given me a place where those women not only can find me, but they have that opportunity to watch so that they get to know me and like me and trust me. It's a place where I can consistently provide value to them. Well, what do I mean when I say provide value? So like I said, if I sold cosmetics, which I do. <laughs> so if I sold cosmetics, I could go on and talk about how do you figure out your foundation shade? What does undertone mean? How, what are the questions you need to ask yourself to figure out your undertone? What are some ways to make your face look slimmer or younger just through uh, makeup techniques, et cetera, et cetera? I'm teaching them things that I've learned through years of experience and, and training without asking for anything in return. Why? Because I'm an expert in my field and I want to provide that value to them. Why? Well, I want to establish a larger audience. And ultimately, I would love for them to follow and subscribe. And at some point say, hey, by the way, what do you sell? Where can I get it? But I'm not asking for that right away. I, I think anyone who knows okay, they're watching a channel. They're watching somebody talk about how to apply makeup and they know that person sells makeup. They know that that person would love to sell to them. But there's a difference between that person showing them, hey, this is how you do this look and wrapping that video and, and that's that and not asking for a sale, not asking them to do anything. It gives the audience a chance to feel like, you know what? I really like her style. I, I think I'm going to watch again. And they watch again and they learn more and they think I really connect with her. When she talks, I understand things more so than I have with other people. And then when you recommend products, maybe that are products outside of what you sell, they think she's the real deal. Like she's being very honest. She doesn't gain anything from telling me that. And yet I agree that is a really good product. And over time, you're establishing that rapport and that relationship. And so I don't think that it's any surprise that you would love to do business with them. It's not like we're you know, trying to be secretive about that. But they are the ones coming to you and saying, hey, you know what? I, I want to do business with you. I really, I like, you know, like I say, I like your style. I want to be part of your world. But where, where can I connect with you? Where, where, what is your website? Where do I go? That is amazing. When you can stop chasing after them and instead provide your expertise to a worldwide audience and then those that consistently watch you start pursuing you and saying, well, this is what I need from you. It's a whole new ball game, people. Okay. And then the, the whole spammy, salesy, you know, icky aspect of sales is just gone because you just get to shine. You just get to do what you're good at and what you love. And, and that's what attracts people is that you are on camera showing your passion and really pouring yourself out saying, you know, this is what I do. This is why I do it. This is what I know. This is what I love. And people just sense your, your energy and your enthusiasm and they will gravitate toward you. I'm, I'm like getting myself super excited just talking about it, okay? And you have to have a platform. You have to have a place to do that. And YouTube is that place, okay? So the first thing is that YouTube gives you an opportunity to create an amazing online presence. And the second one is it gives you an opportunity, a platform where you can provide value, a place where people can get to know, like, and trust you. The third one is that you then, now that you've got people watching you, following you, subscribed, 
You can then direct traffic, so to speak. You can then say, either say during your video, or you can have it in the description of the video, or you can have it pop up on the screen. There's so many options, but you can say, check out my blog, click here for my freebie, uh, make sure that you follow me on Facebook, find me on Instagram, have you seen me on TikTok? You can instruct them where they can find you or what you want them to do next. Even, you know, at some point, once you've got an established relationship and you've got an established audience, you can say for the products that I'm, I've used in the video today, there will be links provided in the description, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So um, they know that they can shop if they want to, but that's different than saying, you know, you know, here's this product. This is what it does. This is how much it is. You know, it, um, and I click right here and, you know, and the whole video is just about you selling that product. It's different when the video is you using products and showing them how to use them and explaining the value and how it's going to benefit them. And then at the end you say, and if you're interested in any of the products shown today, all the links are in the description of this video. It puts the power in their lap. You know, it puts the ball back in their court. I'll, you know, I love cliches. <laughs> so they are the ones that get to, to, you know, go. So you're directing traffic. You're like saying, you know, follow, like, subscribe, click here. You know, this, this is what you can do next, but it's, um, you're, you're giving them options and then they get to decide whether they're going to do it or not. So even though, you know, I'm calling it directing traffic, you're still, it's like you're providing opportunities and you're providing some direction so that those who want to find you in other places know where to go. So if let's say I've got people that are watching me and they really like me and I don't say anything, I don't give any kind of call to action, I don't give any kind of instruction, and they're kind of like, well, gosh, I wonder how I find her on Facebook. I wonder how do I shop with her? I wonder, does she have a blog? You know, what? how do I find out more about this woman? So when you provide that information somehow during your YouTube presentation in the description or have a pop-up or what have you, you are giving that information, making it available to those who want it without cramming it down anybody's throat. You see the difference? So that those who want to take it to the next level, those that want to subscribe, follow, like, share, comment, that they know how to do that. And those that are like, eh, whatever, you know, they'll just move on. Okay. <laughs> So you've got a place, a venue where you can direct traffic and kind of explain to them, here's where you can find me on social media. Here's where you can shop with me. Yes, I have a blog, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. The next couple of things I can almost guarantee you have not thought about, <laughs> or at least I know that I hadn't thought about it because I, here's the thing. Is like most of us that are in direct sales in particular, you know, we're just like Joe Blow, stay at home moms, you know, working a different job, whatever. And we find out that we can sell this product that we absolutely love and get a discount on it ourselves and sell to friends and family. And, you know, we're, we're happy. There we go. But when you start adding social media and YouTube and a worldwide audience to the mix, you're starting to, um, astronomically multiply your opportunities. Okay. And so, uh, you start thinking differently and there are, there are opportunities that I had never considered. For example, I never thought about multiple streams of income. I don't think I've had even heard that expression, but YouTube is one of the places where you can begin to experience multiple streams of income. And the one that I'm talking about right now would be affiliate sales. All right. So reason number four is that YouTube gives you the opportunity to um, have affiliate sales, to become an affiliate, to have affiliate links. And here's what I'm talking about. For example, do you know that you can very, very easily become an affiliate with Amazon 
And really the only thing they ask is that you've got a place to put the links. So in other words, once you have a YouTube channel and you can say, I've got a YouTube channel and here it is, Amazon will say, okay, then you can be an affiliate. And I could say during a video, hey, um, I really love these coasters. And so if you want information on those coasters, there's a link in the description of the video. And when they click that link, it's my affiliate link. If they choose to purchase those coasters from Amazon, guess who gets a little piece of the pie? I do. <laughs> and you can do that with any product on freaking Amazon. Okay. So again, it's giving you credibility because it's not a product that you are selling. It's a product that you're recommending, but yeah, you can actually get a little, you know, a little kickback from that. Super cool. The more you start to understand about affiliate programs, you'll just see them everywhere. Anything that you're really um, committed to or that you really, really like, or you hear yourself telling other people about, like, for example, I talk about Dashing Diva press on nails all the time. So when you go to that website, a website of a company that you really, really love, go all the way down to the bottom and there will be possibly like a referral program link that you can click. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for an affiliate program. Here's the difference. When you participate in a referral program, it's something like, you know, for everyone that you refer to us, we'll give you $5 off your next $50 order, something like that. An affiliate program is anytime someone shops with us with your affiliate link, you'll get two to 4% of the sales. Cash, cash money. <laughs> totally different than just, you know, money off your next order. It's like, it's like you now have another business. That is very cool. Okay. So when you go to a YouTuber's, um, the description of their video, think of a successful YouTuber, check out the description of their next video. Look at all the links that they provide. All right. Why? Because they are probably affiliates with every single one of them. One of the places where you can sort of put all of your affiliate links in one convenient place is called kit.co. So it's like kit.co. So not .com, it's .co, okay? And so then instead of having people have to like click all different links and having to write a ton of different links in every description of your video, you can have like a grouping. So on kit.co, I have, you know, this is my, um, these, these are my beauty recommended products. These are my business recommended products. These are my holiday recommended products, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so you can create kits, thus the name. And then uh, in your description, then you're just providing the link for either kit.co or the link for the grouping that you created there. And when you do that, kit on your behalf will let them know that you may get a commission from the purchases within that grouping. That is a legal caveat. That is something that we need to divulge that information to the public that we may actually make money when they make a purchase. I believe that is so that, uh, you know, it lends some truth and credibility so that people realize that, okay, so she recommended that, but she also was making money. <laughs> so there's, you know, the possibility that she's recommending it because she, you know, makes money on it. But that there again, it's like, that's why you need to establish that no like and trust factor so that when you say, this is my favorite set of makeup brushes, that they feel like, yeah, I believe her because every time I watch her, that's what she's using. And I really have a good feeling about her. And I think she's telling the truth. You know what I mean? There, there's always a risk when you buy something, but I think that when you have a recommendation from a professional, from an expert that you've been watching and following for a while, I think that it kind of puts your, your mind at ease. But legally, we have to let people know that we can or may make a, a percentage of the sales. It's very small. Okay. But here's the thing that's cool. 
is that the potential is there for it to keep growing. So when you first start doing affiliate type stuff, we're talking dollars, you know, like I made like a dollar 44, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not anything to write home about, but over time that can continue to expand and you just don't know, maybe all you'll ever make is a hundred bucks a month, but it's a hundred bucks you didn't make before, but it could go crazy and you could make thousands, tens of thousands. You don't know. You just don't know. So it's very, very cool. It is a potential avenue of income that is just waiting for you that you may not have known about. I didn't know about it. And you have to have a place to put those links. YouTube is that place. Okay. So that's reason number four. All right. So we're talking online presence. You have a place to provide value. You have a way to, to, um, to direct traffic and you have a platform for your affiliate sales links. Number five, and this is the big one. This is the one that blows my mind every single day is that YouTube will pay you once you establish a certain number of subscribers. YouTube will pay you when they watch your videos. It is Google AdSense is where the money actually comes from. And yes, it's those annoying little ads <laughs> that are on the YouTube videos. But you can decide how they show up where they show up. So for example, uh, if they come up in the middle, like if they come up during your video or if they only show up at the bottom or if they only are at the beginning and you make money on those ads, even if people click through them, like, you know, you have that option, like you can skip the ad if, you know, you watch it for five seconds and then you can skip it. Even when people skip it, you still make money because they watch the first five seconds. So I didn't even know that that was a thing. Like I knew that people made money on YouTube, but I thought it was only people that had like a million subscribers and, you know, hundreds and hundreds of videos and stuff. I didn't think it would happen to me. <laughs> and so once I had, you have to have a thousand subscribers, which I, I hesitate to say it because it sounds like a lot, but let me tell you, once you get going, once you find your audience, your niche, it grows and grows and grows. Okay. And so once you have a thousand subscribers, Every time they watch something, you will see those numbers go up, 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 up. And it's very, very cool. Okay. And that is something that the video that you make and provide today will be there for years. And if it's something that provides, um, you know, a timeless lesson, good gravy. I mean, you can be making money from that one video over and over and over. That's residual income. That's passive income. You can, let's say you decide in the next five years to produce a thousand videos and that you are going to, uh, after that, you're just going to relax and enjoy the benefit of that. That is very doable. You know, you put, you make sure that those videos are well produced, that they provide value. You get that all out there on your channel and then you retire because you're making money from those videos that you produce. Do you feel me? I mean, you think that only like people that are extremely famous and have a huge following can do that, but no, you and I can do that. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's true. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you because I'm, I'm experiencing it. I mean, it's just, and sometimes the, the videos that you think are going to be red hot, that you think this is going to be my market, that's not the market. And, and you end up finding a video like, oh my gosh, for some reason, I got a ton of views on this video over here. I never would have thought that. And you realize that's your market. And so then you kind of change, you shift the videos that you create or the, the way that you, you create them, the topics that you're providing because you realize, oh, okay, I thought my audience was, was this group, but it's actually more like this. So I'm going to shift ever so slightly and then that's when your numbers explode. And it's just like, it's so cool to watch. And it's rewarding, not just in a monetary way, but 
I, every day I have people sending me messages. Thank you. Thank you for that training. I learned so much. This really changed my business. This really changed my perspective. This was exactly what I needed to hear. You have no idea how much this helped me today. I mean, how rewarding and fulfilling is that? It's like nothing I've ever experienced before. It's, it's amazing. And I'm talking, these are from people all over the world. It's so cool. So, and, and as far as that goes, okay, this is a little aside, but once you get going with gas, uh, you get to see YouTube provides all of the stats where you can see, you know, these are your most popular videos. These are the countries that are watching you. These are the, the demographics of the people that are watching you, the age, the sex, where are they? What other channels are they watching? You get so much information from YouTube and they are charging you for this, okay? They're just providing this information. YouTube is providing this information so that you can fine tune your videos and your channel so that you are providing exactly what your audience wants and needs and understand who your audience is. So it's a combination of your fine tuning, who am I talking to and what am I providing for them? And YouTube is helping you figure that out. And the more you can hone that, the, the more your numbers are going to go up and they're going to go up quickly. And that's when you, you know, you go from, you know, what am I doing to rock star status? And it can happen fast. It can happen fast, depending on who's training you. <laughs> it's so exciting. It is so exciting. So we're at the end of the video. I promised you that I would tell you like how to make this happen. So there's, these are the whys, the five reasons why to create an online presence, to have a place where you can provide value, to direct traffic so they know where to go, what to do, how to find you, to have a place where you can provide your links for affiliate sales so you have additional avenues of income, and because you can make money through ad sales, through Google AdSense. YouTube will actually pay you for people to watch your videos. It's like just mind blown, okay? So those are the whys. The hows, that's what I want to tell you in my webinar that is coming up. I have got a super exciting webinar, December 5th through the 9th. We are talking 2022. Oh, every day, I'm going to talk about a different aspect of putting your YouTube channel together. This is for beginners. It is very user-friendly. I'm talking to people that are not tech savvy. So if I'm speaking to you, then I'm you definitely want to get in on this. So there is a link in the description of this video that will uh, give you all the information you need. Just really break it down. This is what we're talking about on day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. And you will see, oh my gosh, well, if I if I do all of this, I'm I'm good to go. I will have a channel. Yeah, that's the idea is that in five days, you will have a channel that will be a branded business channel that will reflect your style, your brand, your niche audience, that we will have an intro video created for you, an outro or an end screen created for you, a gorgeous banner. We're going to talk about thumbnails and keywords and titles. It's going to be amazing. You will be ready to rock and roll with your YouTube business. And that's what it is. It's like another part, another avenue another part of your business. I never would have dreamt that I would be a YouTuber. <laughs> and, and when people ask me what I do, my first inclination is to say I'm on YouTube. I, I usually don't say that. I usually say, you know, well, I'm in skincare and beauty business and I do some things online. But I think more and more, my my gut reaction is like, I'm a YouTuber because that's what I do the most and that's what I enjoy the most and that's where I'm making the most money right now. So it can happen to you too. And it is fun. It's exciting. The income is, there's no ceiling, okay? The income is unlimited. And like I said, you can work hard now and you will keep reaping the benefits of that for years and years to come. It's all good to me. It's all good. Like there's no downside to that. <laughs> so if you want to learn more about that, like how to put a YouTube channel together, 
definitely check out this program that I'm putting together. It's a five-day webinar. Every day I go live. I have a training for you. There's a workbook that you get to download. I've got tons of templates. I make it as easy as possible for you to do every day what is spelled out for you to do so that everybody's caught up. Everybody's at the same place at the end of the week. You feel solidly like you have a channel ready to go. That's the goal. It's called Become a YouTuber in Just Five Days. So anyway, so I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did, make sure that you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with a friend. Comment. Let me know what you learned. Let me know if you have a question. I love to answer your questions. I always personally answer the questions. And subscribe to my channel, okay? This, that's what it's all about. Here's a little thought, a little, little nugget for you, is that if you are trying to get subscribers and you're not seeing that happen, ask yourself, am I asking them to subscribe? Because oftentimes people don't know if you don't tell them. I know I used to watch YouTube videos all the time and I didn't subscribe to people's channels because I didn't really understand that that was the thing to do. I didn't know the value of it. But friends, it helps when you subscribe. It helps my numbers. It helps my visibility. It increases my overall sales. So please subscribe and share with friends. So thank you so much for your time and attention. And I cannot wait to see what YouTube does for your business.